this paradise has a problem. The lucky few who live here, 30,000 mostly white and well-off, are worrying about some high-profile crimes in the island's public housing, which is mostly black. In the last few months, a woman was murdered in this neighborhood. A 17-year-old boy shot in the back. Another man kidnapped at gunpoint from outside his apartment. I don't think that's been privy to a lot of people. Sheriff P.J. Tanner says Probably most of the crime been comes been from been people been outside the area. Driver. But the other day, 112 families who live in public housing received this letter. It announced a curfew, not just for teenagers, but for adults. And not just late at night. Residents would have to be in their homes by 9 o'clock during the week, 11 on weekends. Or they could, quote, be arrested, which could lead up to an eviction. Doris Clark says she goes to church in the evenings and doesn't have a prayer of getting home in time. This should not be a prison, you know, just like putting a tag on me in prison. And I don't think that's right. This isn't meant to hold the people who live there hostage. It's not enforceable. But Councilman Bill Ferguson thinks that's exactly what's happening. Dumb idea, good idea, stupid idea. Dumb can be improved. Stupidity, very hard. The curfew was supposed to start at Hilton Head Gardens last Friday, but was canceled after public housing residents charged racism because no one else on Hilton Head would be subject to curfew. Now, another security measure, which could be even more controversial, ID cards. Again, only for residents in public housing. They would be required to show them to sheriff's deputies on demand. If you go against that policy and procedure, you could possibly lose your your um, apartment here. I should not have to show an ID to anybody to go into my apartment. But if they are caught without their cards three times, they will lose their homes. It's a cost the resort brochures for Hilton Head don't list. There is a special price for this little piece of paradise for those who live in public housing, mainly poor, mainly black. Bob Dotson, NBC News, Hilton Head, South Carolina.